I got one of the scariest freelance job stories ever. Welcome to team Go Mode. It's your man Earl, Batman Stringer. Now, a few years ago, I signed up with a freelance site called Upwork. If you never heard of Upwork, it is a popular platform where freelancers can go to look for work. All right, it's pretty simple. You go in there, you create a profile, list in your skills and you know your qualifications, and people can actually hire you. Uh, I remember creating a profile, and I'm pretty sure I was basically offering like marketing uh, services, right? I think it was like things like YouTube or or um, design or something to that effect, right? So one day I get an email from somebody and they were from Upwork and they were looking for somebody in my area to take pictures, right? So I never really did understand how this person found me. I think it was because of the location, right? So they must have been like, there's some sort of real estate people and they were looking to buy this, this building, all right? So they needed somebody in the area to take some good pictures of every, you know, everything in the building. So I remember getting this email and I remember I'm like, you know, I'm looking to do stuff online, right? I'm like, oh, I'm trying to do marketing stuff, make videos, edit videos or thumbnails or whatever. I'm like, damn, why is this person, is this real? They're asking me to take some pictures. Like, huh? I'm not a damn photographer. That's what I was thinking. But, you know, I'm all about the hustle. I, I agreed to do this work because the guy's like, oh, it's only going to take like an hour. You know what I'm saying? To, to do this and you get paid a certain amount. And I'll tell you how much I actually end up getting paid at the end. All right. But anyway, I agreed to it. Right. Because this location was only like 10 minutes from where I live. So, you know, I actually looked up the building I was going to online before I went there. And I'm like, oh, I know this building. OK, 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 cool. So I remember calling my dad and asking him like, yo, you know, would you go with me? I got this little job. You know what I'm saying? You can, will you help me out? You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't take long. Right. So he was like, all right, cool. All right. Word. Boom. So like a couple of days later, go to this job. So when I go to this big building, um, it was like one person there, I guess it was like the realtor person or whatever, not the person that hired me. Like it was some, somebody that he sent to let us into the building. So we go to this building, which I've seen a million times from the outside, but I go in this building and it's like, apparently it used to be like an old uh, school or like a, I don't know, like a nuns where nuns be or whatever, something like that. It was something like some sort of school. And I remember going in and they had like, I think three stories or whatever, right? So I go in there, me, my dad, this realtor person, and the realtor person kind of was like, all right, I'll let y'all in, but I really ain't trying to like, you know, walk around and shit, right? And I'm thinking, oh, okay. So I go into this place and immediately I'm looking, and mind you, it's daytime outside. It's like four in the afternoon. And I remember looking around like this, this motherfucker like, this, this kind of scary. You know what I mean? Like I'm looking around like, wow, right? So I'm walking around, remember my job is to just take as many pictures as I can of like all little rooms, any damage, any of that, right? So we walking on the first floor and this and that, this and that. Then we go upstairs to like the second floor. Then I think we go upstairs to a third floor. So we walking around like these empty classrooms and everything. And it's almost looked like, it almost looked like an active school, but apparently like nobody been in this building for years. Right. But they still got like deaths and everything. It's just some a eerie vibe. Right. But shit, I'm trying to get this little money. So I'm just taking pictures. I don't care. Snap, 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 snap. And then like you're going down these scary hallways upstairs, these dark hallways and you look in and it's just, it's just very, very eerie. Right. But I did it. Then I remembered on the way out. I was like, oh, shit, I'm supposed to do the basement as well. Oh. <sighs> Look, this is where shit gets, look, all right. So go down in the basement. Remember, it's still kind of daylight outside, but the basement is dark, all right? And remember, this building ain't been active in years, so there's no like electricity or nothing. All I had was my phone, right? So I go down, we all go downstairs. Me, my dad, and the realtor actually came with us. And when I tell you this was the scariest shit ever, I am not joking. First of all, I just want to say I am a horror movie junkie. 
right? So I believe even if I wasn't a horror movie junkie, this shit's still scary. But the fact that I'm like, I watch movies like this shit all the time. And I'm like, I felt literally like I was in a horror movie, right? Point blank period. Cause you go down these steps and you just look and you hear like little noises, right? And I remember like in the movie, like I'm looking for, for like the, the light on my phone. So I, I, I turn my phone on, I turn the light on and you look and you see these walls covered in mold. Probably got sick and shit, I don't know. But it was just covered in mold. I'm looking around just like in the movie. When I light it up, I'm like, oh my God, right? So we're walking and I'm looking on the ground, scary as shit, like all this mold and just shit like, like stuff all over the floor, like junk and everything, right? So we're walking out of the basement. So I'm taking pictures with the flash on my phone, taking pictures of shit, right? I go, we're going through this, these hallways in the basement. I'm scared. I, I'm straight point blank period scared. I remember walking this, this one, uh, this one room. I turned my light to the corner and I seen a damn rocking horse in the corner. Now, why was that there? I say, why was that there? Straight up. I still see this shit. Shit scary as hell. It's just this, this rocking horse in the corner. Like, why is this here? Right? So, of course, I took pictures of it. Right? And I remember finally getting out of this basement. And I remember getting in the car with my dad. And I remember like, yo, that was so scary. I remember saying, I'm like, I'm never coming here again. I don't care. If that dude asked me, I'm not, never, ever again, right? I remember going home thinking to myself, like, damn, should I burn these clothes? Do I got some evil spirits connected to me? I'm, I was on that shit. It was scary, y'all. And I wish, because I, I don't have the pictures, and even if I did, I don't know if I could show them to you. I don't know. But I don't have these pictures no more. But I remember I had to take these pictures home, put them on my computer, and send them to this guy, right? And... I remember even looking at the pictures on my computer. I was getting scared again. Like this shit was, this shit was haunted. And I remember he actually like emailed me like the day later and he paid, you know, he paid me for my, for that time. And I can't exactly remember how much it was, but I do remember it was only like between somewhere in between like maybe 40 and 60 bucks for that hour. And I, I ended up being there like probably like an hour and a half to be honest with you, but it ended up being like 40 to $60 I got for doing that. And let me tell you something, it was not worth it. Damn that, I would not do that again. No, straight up, hell no, right? So like I said, it was, that to me was the scariest freelance job ever in my opinion, because I easily could see me and my dad, well, I don't know who, who was the star of that movie. I don't know if it would have been me, my dad, or the realtor because we was definitely in a scary movie. The monster was supposed to get like two of us, right? Straight up, <laughs> point blank, period. But if there's anything you can take away from this story, it is one, some jobs just ain't worth it. And two, Upwork actually does pay.